Welcome back to the 9 a.m. We are at Joy FM and Boost where they are having an amazing morning because since 6 o'clock this morning the phones have been ringing. Sandy Brown is the president here at Joy FM and the, the phones are ringing because there are hurting people out there who want some help. The premise of this morning is a morning of help and hope. So area pastors and counselors from all over St. Louis are here to answer your calls when you reach out for prayer. It's that simple. You call in and you say, hey, here's what I'm struggling with, and there's someone on the other end to pray for you. Yeah, and these volunteers, that's, that's what they're here for. They want to be a resource for folks out there who maybe need this anonymous yep. touch. They're, they're, they're stuck in themselves, they're stuck in their own thoughts, and they need somebody that they can share with. Yeah, sometimes it's um, no one else knows that I'm hurting in this way, but it's good for my soul to tell somebody and also invite God to step in and help. So whether it's your struggle, whether it's someone you care about, um, we're here, no need to suffer in silence or alone. Like call out to God for prayer. Yeah, being alone is the worst place to be. If that's who you are and you feel like you're the only one, that's just what the evil one wants you to believe, but you're not, call and get some prayer and some help here. And, and you're gonna get between 800 and 1,000 calls in four hours. Uh, it tells you that there's a need out there. And it tells you you're not alone, yeah. right? And right. also we have a resource for everyone who reaches out for prayer. It's called Findable Joy. And these 100 daily um, scriptures, invitations to pray, just to kind of help you get some traction. Calling in for prayer on one day is important, but what do you do the next 100 days? Find him available and ready to help. You know, when I got sober in college, uh, my senior year in college, and I was a tr with the basketball team and we were traveling and we were in uh, Boise, Idaho. And I just really felt like I needed to be in a meeting, right? So I picked up the phone and called. They came and picked me up, took me to the meeting and back to the hotel. And I just got to thinking, what, being proactive like that. You know, these people come, what if you, if there's someone you know in your life that's hurting, reach out to them and be proactive because you never know what a difference. That made such a difference in my life. You never know what that simple gesture of reaching out will do for somebody. That's exactly right. Great place to do it is right here today. You still got a little bit of time left. It's going until 10 a.m. Again, give them a call. It's help, it's hope, and it's yours. All for just picking up the phone and calling. Thank you so much, Sandy. Thank you, Tim.